What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Listen to your gut. Follow your bliss. When you get knocked down, get right back up again. You know, I want to talk for a second about all of these inspirational sayings. I've I've surrounded myself with these kinds of words for my entire life. I have posters on my wall along with Leif Garrett posters and I'd have all the cute kitten sayings and and um, really just surround myself with these words of inspiration, motivation and whatever. And I think sometimes um, these can be a little much. I think sometimes we see these things and we think, Oh, you know, I, I don't know what my bliss is. How am I going to follow my bliss? Or, you know what? Sometimes you will fail. Sometimes you will. And, and I think we surround ourselves with these words and we give up or we, we just find them too overwhelming. And so we quit. We're like, oh, that's never going to be me. I can't do that. Why? You know what? Sometimes you will fail. Hopefully you will fail. Hopefully you fail a lot of times because if you're not failing, that means you're not doing stuff. Um, we don't start out at 100% at everything we do. And sometimes we go down the wrong path. Um, sometimes we listen to our gut and, and sometimes we don't even know what our gut says because we're so busy up here we can't hear it. Um, sometimes we fall down and we make friends with the floor and we stay there for a little bit. Um, sometimes we don't know what our bliss is. We, we can't hear that. We can't feel that. Sometimes we're in a place where bliss is the last thing on our list. You know, we've, we've got to get the kids on the bus or pay the bills or we've got to do this or do that or do that. And we're like, bliss? Who has time for that? Um, so I just want to say these sayings are great. They're helpful. They're okay. They have their place. But I think the best advice out of all of these sayings, out of all this motivation, out of all, every morning I wake up, I listen to a motivational video. I, I, I feed myself with words that other people are saying about how to get ahead in life, how to have a better life. I do this every day, and I've done it for the past, I'm 55, 55 years. And I think the best piece of advice is just do what you can do for this one minute. Do as much as you can do for this one minute. Sometimes all you can do in this one minute is lay on the couch and, and not cause any more harm to your life. You know, maybe you're grieving. Maybe you've had a serious loss. Maybe you've just gone through a traumatic breakup of some sort or um, lost a special person in your life. And maybe the best that you can do for this one minute is to breathe and to be. And that's all you can do. And so I think that is the best advice. It's yes, if you know what your bliss is, follow that. Yes, if you're in a job you absolutely can't stand, look for a different job. You want a great life. But if the and if the best you can do in this minute is to sit there, read a book, and chill. That's what's important. That's what you do. Um, where am I going with this? Uh, I just think sometimes we get overwhelmed. And sometimes we try to do what everybody else is telling us to do. And sometimes we try to listen to those words. Follow my gut. Follow my bliss. Follow, you know, um, get right back up again. Sometimes it's not a good idea to get right back up again. Sometimes it's not, um, it's not a good idea to follow your bliss. Sometimes you have to lay there on the floor, lay, lie, I don't know, things lay, people lie. Um, but you have to be on the floor and embrace the floor. And you have to say hello to the floor. And you have to say, thank you, floor, for catching me because this is what I needed in this minute. So that's my question to you after all this rambling, what is important in this very minute? One foot in front of the other, sure. 
you know, get right back up again at some point. You know, follow your bliss when you figure that out, maybe. Um, but what's important to you in this one minute? What do you need to do in this one minute? Maybe that's getting yourself a sandwich. Maybe you're hungry. You can't move forward until you, until you feed yourself, nourish yourself. What's important to you in this one minute? Do that. And then in the next minute, do the next thing. And hopefully, you're going in a positive direction. And hopefully, you'll figure out your bliss. And you'll, you'll get right back up again when you fail at some point. And hopefully, you'll do all these things that all these sayings tell you to do. But for right now, focus on this minute. Focus on right here. And ask yourself, what do I need in this one minute? What am I capable of in this one minute? What decision can I make in this one minute? In this one minute. Have a great rest of your day.